Team admins are able to do a number of things to manage their teams and restrict access to licenses. When accessing the organization dashboard for the first time, all of your licenses are siloed into a single entitlement pool, while all invited members are placed into the same group. While team licenses are able to be used with the setup out of the box, admins are also able to create additional entitlement pools and share licenses between them. Additional groups can also be created and granted access to specific entitlement pools, allowing admins the ability to restrict which users do and don't have access to certain licenses. Admins are able to access the Org Admin Dashboard by clicking the Organization Admin Dashboard button found in the Team Licenses tab in the Login Licenses menu under My Account on Foundry.com. Once team members are invited to the team organization, you're able to create and assign members to groups. To create a group, click on Groups in the navigation bar. Here, we can see and access all of our groups. Because no additional groups have been created yet, at the moment, all we have is the default employees group containing all of our team members. To create a new group, click Create. Once clicked, assign the group a name and a type. It's recommended that group names reflect the roles that users have. So for example, this group will be for compositors, so I'm going to name it Compers. For type, any groups aside from the default employees group should be set to license consumers. The employees type grants members access to licenses, so we recommend that all team members are added to this group, as only one group with the type employees can exist per organisation. Team members can then be added to additional groups with the license consumer type, allowing admins to control license access. Once a name and a type are assigned, we're also able to add a description to the group, although this is optional. Once the title, description and type have been set, click create. Once created, we can add users to this group from this page. To add users to the group, scroll down the page until you get to the Members section and click Add Member. Next to the names of the users that you want to add to the group, click the Add Member to Group button in the Actions column. If we click back, we can see that the members have been added to the group. Groups can then be granted access to entitlement pools containing specific licenses. To create an entitlement pool, click Entitlements in the top navigation bar. In here, you're able to see and access all of your entitlement pools. To create a new one, click Create. Assign a name to your entitlement pool. You can also add a description, but this is optional. Once the name is added, click Create. Once clicked, you're able to allow or disallow groups access to the pool. To do this, Click Allow next to the name of the group that you want to be able to access the entitlement pool. We now have a new entitlement pool and a group of specific members that are able to access it, but there aren't actually any licenses available to use in this new entitlement pool. This is because all of our licenses are still being held in our default pool and we need to move them into our new one. To do this, click on Entitlements again. Because this is the first pool that we've created, all of our licenses are still in the default entitlement pool and we need to move them from that pool into our new one. To do that, click details next to the default entitlement pool. We can now see all of the licenses that are tied to the organization. To move licenses into another entitlement pool, click the move button next to the license that you want to move. Because I'm moving licenses into my compa pool, I'll be moving my Nuke Eye license from the default pool so that members that have access to the Compa pool are able to access Nuke. Once Move has been clicked, select the pool that you want to move the license into from the drop-down and then press Move. We can now see that the license has been moved out of the default entitlement pool. There is currently no limit to the amount of entitlement pools that can be tied to an organisation, so we can repeat this process until all licenses are moved into their respective pools. Licenses can also be reserved for specific members by admins. To do this, click on the Licenses tab in the top navigation bar. On this page, you're able to see all of the licenses tied to your organisation, as well as how many seats you have per licence and how many seats are currently in use. To reserve a seat, click Details next to the name of the licence that you want to reserve. Next to Seats in Use, click Reserve Seats. 
Next to the user that you want to reserve a seat for, click Reserve Seat. Once a seat is reserved, the seat will remain reserved for that user until the admin releases the seat. To release a seat, click on Licenses in the top navigation bar, and then click Details next to the license that has a reserved seat that you want to release. Next to Seats in Use, click Reserve Seats. Next to the user whose seat that you want to release, click Release Seat. Once clicked, the seat is released back to the license pool and can be used by any member that has access to the pool that it belongs to.